Okay, we have a really tough game now, guys. We're playing against Reading at home. Uh, obviously, Reading have a good team. It recently been in the Premiership a few years ago. And uh, we've, we've decided to go with a 3 5 2, of course. Um, but we're going to start Forresteri after his two goals against Cheltenham. See how he does against a team like Reading. Um, hopefully, he can pick up the form from the Cheltenham game and start scoring some goals. And also. Um, Jenkins really impressed me in the last game, so did Poodle, so they've earned their place on the bench because um, before they were in the reserves, so hopefully they can come on and make an impact if they need to. Um, so off we go. That's it, lovely. Oh, he just hoofs that. That's a Dini. Oh, look at that ball. <laughs> oh, whip it in. Oh! <laughs> look at that! That was Forestieri just wide. Come on, play that ball in. Dini! Come on. Oh, what a miss. What a miss. What a miss. Terrible. No. No. And guess what? That was an unstoppable 45th minute goal. They've done absolutely nothing going forwards. And then, once again, another 45th minute goal. Scripting my arse off from EA. Always happens in the 45th minute. I've seen so many people complaining about this. That movement there, couldn't deal with it. And it's 1 0 to. And there's half time. I'm in absolute shock that we're losing because we've been so much better than Reading, who have an amazing team. You know, they managed, they've even got Landon Donovan up front for some reason. Um, but they got one chance right at the end, 45th minute, and scored, of course, because it's always the 45th minute that they score. And hopefully they don't script us again in the second half and we can actually get a result in a fair Miyashi, look at that lovely skills. Go on, get it into that pose. Dini No Shoot Yeah oh, what a finish Oh really Yeah fucking sit down bitches sit down sit on the fucking floor Take my genius Look at this control look outside of the boot Oh, beautiful. 1-1. One, one. What a finish from Irene. Gaethje. Gaethje. Wide again. His finishing is so poor. That was lovely skill to get past him, but then for this shot, just wide. Oh, that's lovely. Forestieri. Oh, that was gorgeous play from Forestieri. Check this out, lads. Chips. Look, it flicks it up on full volley. Just tips over. Beautiful. Nice. Come on, Jenkins. Over the top. Jenkins. Oh, so close. Beautiful play from the substitute. He's just come on. And Jenkins with that volley there. Well... Yeah, half volley, just wide. Come on, Ardini! Oh, and again! Jenkins, wide. Oh. And there's the full time whistle. Not a bad point, to be honest, against this Reading team. You know, they signed some top players in the transfer window by the looks of it. Uh, Williams and um, O'Donovan and they've got some really good players probably the best squad I've seen in the league um, but we did have so many chances and we should have won but once again I'm struggling to finish with this team I don't know what it is if it's just me or or what because with my other career modes I score goals but not on this one so I'm struggling for some reason um, but now we didn't get anyone in transfer window we've got to just cope um, and that goal was nice though that was a lovely goal but anyway, on to the next game. Okay, so let's have a look at the table. Um, let's get an update going on the table here. And as you can see, at the top of the table, Brighton, which is probably quite a shock. Then we've got Bolton, Norton Forest, Wigan, Ipswich and Reading. And we're in 10th at the moment, which isn't what we really wanted. But we've only lost one game in the league. And we're unbeaten at home. It's very early on. The transfer, summer transfer has just finished. And so I just thought I'd just show you quickly... 
Yeovil are actually in 17th, which is a shock. And Bournemouth are bottom of the table. So there we go. That's the table for you. Okay, so we're playing away to Leicester, which is another tough game. I've decided to drop Deeney because he's been off form again recently and hopefully that can pick him up again after his recent performance. I've decided to play Poodle, who I haven't played in the league yet, and he played well against Cheltenham. And Forrester, he stays because he played well in the last game and was unlucky not to score. But I've decided to put Miesi at front because of his pace. I know he's not down as a striker, but I'd like to see how he does there. And maybe he could be our answer. So just experimenting with him. So off we go. Oh, nice, nice. Come on, Meishi. Lovely, lovely. Come on, Forestieri. This is your chance. Oh, he missed. Come play that ball. That's it. Come on, Poodle. He keeps going. Whips that in. Goal! McHugan again. He's going to end up being our top scorer. And then once again, calm the motherfucking down, bitch. I am Macoudan, I am Kowals. Poodle on his first league game of the season. What a ball in. Beautiful goal. Come on, defend this. No, whoa, what happened there? We are, oh my word, how did that go in? I thought we were going to defend that. I don't have a clue how that ended in the goal. Oh, terrible defending, terrible. Should have headed it. At half time, it's 1 1. Out of nowhere they scored a header which I'm really disappointed I let in but I just couldn't see how I could defend it. It just, our defender completely missed it and really we should be winning once again. And McGugan now scored a lovely header from a good cross from Poodle. And I have a feeling that we can get a win from this so hopefully we can score in the second half. Ick. Come on, free kick in a brilliant position here. McGugan. Fancies it. We're Google. No! 2 1, and it's him again. He is on fire this season, and from midfield, I think he's our top scorer at the moment. And the first free kick of the career mode. Schmeichel almost kept it out, but off the post and in. 2 1. Oh, come on, lads. Shoot. Oh, lovely finish from Irene. 3 1. I can't, I just can't believe this. But like, when was the last time we scored three goals? Don't think we have in this career mode. And he scores again. He scored, I think, against uh, in the 1 1 draw in the last episode. Look at this strike. Lovely. Bottom corner. 3 1. Oh, look at that play from Jenkins. Oh, McGugan. Just wide. Tried to get him at his near post. Not bad. And there's the final whistle. Probably our best performance of the season. 3 1 win away to Leicester. McGugan scoring twice. He's on fire. And Irene as well with another goal from him. Uh, brilliant performance. We're suddenly finding some goals, which is absolutely fantastic because I was worrying about that when we didn't get Wells in the transfer window. And thanks for watching this, guys. Try and get this to 10 or 11 likes. Um, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you soon. Bye.